I'm Allie Beerman. I'm so glad you came by to be part of the Thrive Don't Just Survive Book Launch Party Challenge. In this month of April until May 1st, I present you with a challenge of accomplishing a goal. I'm talking about a goal that every year you say, this is my goal this year. And the next year you say, I know I'm going to do it this time. And the next year you say, I'm definitely making it happen. This is my year. If you've had a goal for more than one year, come join us and achieve, finally achieve your goal. So here are the steps. Here's what you need to do. First of all, you need to hold yourself accountable by letting everybody else know what your goal is. So you want to go down below this video and hit reply so you can put in what your goal is. Now what kind of goal? It can be a personal goal. Maybe it's a health goal. Maybe it's a relationship goal. Maybe it's a financial goal. Maybe you want to go to school to get a new home, a different car. One goal, just one, that you just haven't been able to quite reach. Sometimes you get like 95% there, but you haven't made it yet. That's your goal. Now, here's what you need to know about that goal. Because you haven't reached it yet, maybe it isn't your goal. Is it a goal that you want or a goal that somebody else tells you that you want? Or is it a goal that you think you should want, a goal that you think, well, if I did that, it would be nice? None of those are goals. None of those are your goals. For a goal to become your reality, for you to accomplish it, it has to be something with a personal meaning quotient that's a PMQ of 100. Well, what do I mean by that? No matter what happens in your life, and all kinds of distractions happen, sometimes really bad things happen in people's lives. Sometimes they let little things take them off track because that goal doesn't mean more to them than anything. When your PMQ is at 100, you're unstoppable. No matter what happens in your life, and if it's a personal event or something in your business, that stops you, it's a temporary stop. You handle whatever it is, and then you're back on track for your goal because you have to live that goal or your life just doesn't have the meaning that you deep inside want it to have. So, And that goal also has to be something personal for you. For instance, many women, especially moms, might have a goal of earning a certain income because they want to send their child to college. Okay, you want to do what's best for your child, but how is that a personal goal? Something I guarantee, no matter how many lives you're touching, if there's not something in it for you on a personal level, you will not achieve it. So for that mom who's working hard so she can send her child to college, what does she get out of it? She gets to achieve her personal goal of what she defines as a successful, happy, and at peace, good mom. Well, the next thing that you want to do is determine what step you're going to take. No, wait, before you determine the step, first you have to figure out, look at your goal. Obviously, if it was your goal and you're not living it, you haven't become the person who thinks that way and takes the actions that makes that reality for them. So who do you need to become? What kind of thoughts do you need to have that will allow you to take new actions you've never done before so you can have that goal and achieve things you've never done before. The actions produce results you've never reached before. Who do you need to
to be so you can take the steps you've never taken, the have results you've never had. I want all of these things in that list underneath this video. And finally, the last step, I want you to put down how you'll know when you've reached the goal. What very tangible things will be in your environment. For instance, if it's a goal for a new relationship, you'll have that new relationship. And then I want you to describe when you're living that goal as part of your everyday reality. How do you feel? What do you see around you? What are people saying to you? What are people saying about you? See if you can immerse yourself. Go in behind your eyes. Look out at your world because it will look different. See what you see, hear what you hear. Maybe taste something or smell something. Maybe you're touching something and feeling it, experiencing it in a new way. So to enter this challenge, you want to go down below the video. Number one, write down what the goal is. Number two, how much do you want it? It needs to be at 100%. Number three, who do you need to become? What kind of thoughts do you need to think to take the actions that you need to take to get the results that you want to finally achieve? And number four, name the steps. You know what? Even today, if you just start out with your first step, let me give you a for instance. I used to be ridiculously shy. I mean, I didn't look people in the eye when I spoke. People didn't even know I'd spoken because I talked so softly. So when I decided, I was watching too much of life pass me by by being shy. So I made the choice to go places where there were lots of people, to go to networking events for my business, to go to parties, just to go to different fun activities too. And I didn't wait for somebody to talk to me. I just stood up tall, and your posture's going to make a difference if you think you're a shy person. And I started a conversation with somebody else. And then afterwards I wondered, why was I shy? What was I afraid of? Well, it didn't happen the first time, but every time I did it, ooh, I always said, what was I afraid of? What was I afraid of? So I'm not shy anymore. What is it? that you'll be able to do what step, what action that'll get you on your way forward toward achieving your goal. And then number five, describe exactly how your world looks because you are living with that goal as your reality. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll be posting the prizes because sure there's the built-in motivation and the built-in reward of achieving a goal you've never achieved. But I'm also going to have some pretty exciting prizes for you. One for everybody who achieves their goal. And I guess the prizes are only for people who achieve their goal because, you know what, if you take an action and you don't get there because your PMQ wasn't at 100, you can start over. So by May 1st, there's something in your life you've wanted for a long time. Don't have it now. You will have it then.